in our downward dogs. Just taking those few moments to wriggle, to sway, to move, to prepare. And today we're going to be really focusing in on our hips. So let's find stillness together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, send your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right arm and place the right foot down outside of the hand. And just coming into a lizard pose and just gently swaying back and forth, letting your hips sink down. Breathing in, breathing out. We're just taking it easy, taking it slowly. We're just warming up. Then lift your hips just a touch. Bring your left hands underneath your face and sweep your right arm up to the sky. And again, you can keep that swaying side to side or rocking back and forth. And then bring your right hand down, adjust the left hand over to the left, and you can step your right foot back. Breathing in, breathing out. The left leg floats up. Exhale, left leg left. Arm, then place the left foot outside of the left hand, dropping the hips down and gently rocking back and forth. Just checking in with what you're working with preparing our bodies for what we're about to do and preparing our minds and then from here right hand adjust underneath the face lift the, the hips and reach your left arm up to the sky and keep rocking back and forth if that feels nice sending your left arm behind you opening the chest and just a couple more breaths here. And then bring your left hand down, adjust your right hand and send your left leg back. So there's one more movement that we're gonna play with a little bit. So this time, inhale, right leg sweeps up to the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right arm. Flex your right ankle and send your right foot over towards the left arm. Now bending your knee, place your right ankle over the left thigh and figure four here, pushing your right knee back in space, folding the hips in half as much as you can, lengthening through the back and bending the left knee or straightening it, but I find by bending it, I can get more into the right hip. Nice guys. One more here. And inhale, come back forward, knee to nose. And exhale, step back to plank. Breathing in and downward dog. Left side, inhale, left leg lift. Left knee, left arm. Flex the ankles and the left foot to the right arm. Right knee bends. Figure four, down dog. Can you stick out your bum a little bit more? Relax the neck and push your left knee behind you. So your left knee is probably gonna to wanna to track forward towards the left armpit. Try not to let it, keep pushing it back. Two more breaths here. Hey Dina, we're just in our figure four downward dog. Then come back forward, draw your knee to your nose and exhale, step your foot back. Inhale here and exhale, downward dog. Inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, tiptoe feet to hands. Come into ragdoll and let yourself be heavy. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bending your knees, let your hands fall down to the floor and roll up through the spine, stack a bone on bone. 
And when you rise all the way up, inhale, float your arms up to the sky, palms to touch. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer heart center. Toes to touch, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale. Switch on your Ujjayi breath. Exhale, bring your hands down by your side, palms face forward. And let your breath be what grounds you. Let it be what centers you. Breathing in together. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Arms float up to the sky, breathing in. Exhale, lean forward, trust your toes, swan dive, hands to the ground. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen through the spine, hands to shins maybe. Exhale, plant the palms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. One more, find your flat back, stick your bum out. Exhale, bow the head down. Now inhale, come halfway up. Planting the palms, step back to plank. Breathe in, drop the knees if you want to. Exhale, half chaturanga. Shoulders are out in front, inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, trust your fingertips. Elbows stay over the wrists. One more, straighten the arms. Exhale, let's come all the way down. Hands stay where they are. Use your back body strength. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, head down. Squeeze shoulder blades, inhale, lift. Exhale. One more, breathing in, strong legs. Exhale, tuck your toes, press into the hands. Inhale, all four. Exhale, downward dog. Breathing in for one. Plant through index and thumb. Two, rolling biceps forward. Relax your neck, Tiffany. Three. Exhale. Inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees. You can jump if you want to, feet to hands. Halfway lift on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Arms float out to the side, up to the sky. Try to rip your mat apart with your feet. Exhale, straight back down, hands to the ground. Half lift, breathe in, belly in. Planting the palms, step back to plank. Option for knees down like last time, or inhale, we rock forward. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, straightening the arms, so moving your body like a plank. Exhale, elbows bend. And again, straighten. This time, come all the way down onto the tummy, sending your hands wide, fingertips down, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, rise up. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, come down through center. Let's do two more. Inhale. I want you to feel the muscles in your back body as you exhale, dragging yourself forward. One more of those, breathing in. Breathing out. Plant the palms, tuck the toes. Option one is all fours. Option two is back up into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe in for one. Breathing out. Two. Three. Beautiful, guys. Inhale to tiptoes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Straight into halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. Urdhva Hastasan, inhale, riding the breath, we reach up. Exhale, straight back down, hands to the floor. This time, planting the palms in front of the feet, lean into the fingertips, and it's like you're trying to slide your feet back. Bend your elbows at the same time, landing in chaturanga. Flip, flip with the feet, up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Breathing in for one. Breathe out. Two. Settle the breath, settle the mind. Three. 
tiptoes. Bend your knees, step float or fly, hips high, squeeze at your hip flexors, nice. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, reach up, strong through the glutes. Beautiful guys. Hands to prayer, heart center. Inhale into your chair pose, bend your knees deep, reach your arms high. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor, straighten the legs. Half lift or plant the palms and lean, but look forward as you do it. Exhale, step or jump back into your chaturanga. Up dog, nice felicity. Downward facing dog. Right leg floats up to the sky, breathing in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, sweep it back up. Exhale, heel to bum, right knee, right arm. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, draw the right knee across the body, tapping the left arm. Inhale, into your three-legged dog. So each time working into the core, exhale, right knee, right arm. Now inhale, send the right foot forward, flexing the ankle. Exhale, figure four, downward dog. Breathing in here for one. Breathing out. Inhale, ripple forward, knee to nose. Exhale, right foot down. Back knee drops. And Janyasana, inhale, arms float up to the sky. All on the exhale, back knee lifts, hands come down, simultaneously stepping back as you bend your elbows. Up dog, breathing in. Keeping it smooth, downward dog, breathing out. Beautiful guys, straight into the left side, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, send it forward. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, left knee, left arm. Keep squeezing the heel to bum. Sweep the leg high again, breathe in. Exhale, left knee comes across the body, tap the right arm. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, left knee, left arm. Inhale, send the left foot forward, flex the ankle. Exhale, figure four, down dog. Breathing in here. Breathing out. Ripple forward, knee to nose. Exhale, left foot down, right knee drops. Pushing the right hip forward, inhale, arms float up to the sky. Smooth, hands down, step back, vinyasa. Slowing down the up dog. Downward facing dog. We're here for one. Two, try and point your sit bones higher. Now try and draw your lower ribs in. Squeezing navel to spine. Tiptoes, breathe in. Bend your knees, step or float, feet to hands. Nice James, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold it down. Into your chair pose, breathe in. Bring your hands to prayer as you reach up. Let's twist to the right, exhale, left elbow hooks around the right thigh. Press the hands together, look up, and exhale, pull the right shoulder blade back. Let's come back through center, so send your bum back as the arms reach forward. Exhale, twisting to the left. Push the hands, left leg, right arm. Breathing in, breathing out. Back through center on your inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Half lift or find that lean, come to tiptoes. It's like you're trying to slide your feet back as you bend your elbows. Up dog, breathing in. Downward dog, breathing out. Right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, right knee, right arm. This time, send that right foot forward. Figure four, down dog, exhale. Breathing in here again, can you stick your bum out even more? And push the right ankle into the left leg. Inhale, come forward, draw knee to nose. Exhale, right foot down, high lunge this time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back, vinyasa. Up dog, press into the top of the feet. 
downward dog exhale left leg lifts exhale knee to nose crunch sweep the leg high again breathe in exhale left knee left arm stay forward send that left foot forward and then sit the hips back figure four down dog one breath push your left ankle even harder into the right thigh this time breathing out ripple forward knee to nose exhale left foot touches down squeeze inner thighs rising on your inhale high lunge exhale hands down through your vinyasa notice if you speed up the up dog can you slow it down downward facing dog breathing in for one breathing out two Three. Inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float feet to hands. Half lift, lean forward. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, breathing in, bend your knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Let's twist again. Exhale, we twist to the right. One breath here, breathe in. Breathing out back through center, twisting to the left, breathe in, and breathing out, inhale, exhale, back through center on your inhale, hands to the floor, exhale, halfway lift or lean, plant the palms, trust the lean, and step or float back, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Now this time right leg floats up to the sky. Bend your left knee, keep your right leg straight. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee. So what you're doing is you're charging the leg. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Now we're gonna play with a little handstand hop. So hop your left foot in, look between your thumbs and just try and kick up three times. Maybe you can do the scissor kick into your high lunge. So the right foot comes down like I just did. I can show you again. Or you can back into your three-legged dog. Do knee to nose, right foot touches down, and then we rise on the inhale. We're all going to meet in downward dog. Yeah, good job. So we rise. Yes, James, that was it. Good job. And we're all going to meet in downward dog when we're ready. Perfect. Breathing in. So we do our high lunge and then take it down and step back. Now left leg floats up to the sky. Left leg, imagine it stays in a cast. You bend your right knee. And just notice how this is you prepare for your hop. Straighten the leg. You're activating the muscles. Bend your knee. Can you bend a little bit deeper? Nice, guys. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now look forward. Hop your right foot in. Look between the thumbs and the little hands down hops. And it's just a quick scissor of the leg. If you haven't seen it before, it doesn't have to be the perfect handstand. Left foot comes down, right leg back. We rise on the inhale, high lunge. Take your hands down. Chaturanga, good job. And just something to play with. Up dog, also something just to build a bit of heat. Nice, guys. We're going to do it one more time each side. Right leg sweeps up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your bottom knee, your left leg. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now hop it in. Handstand hop. Or just knee to nose. Tiffany, look forward. Look between your thumbs. Now trust it, you're getting high enough. Just trust, get your right foot down. <laughs> that was good, that was it. And yeah, just get your left foot back quicker, but well done, babe, that was really awesome. That was a bunny hop. And we're gonna rise into our high lunge when we're ready, and then take the hands down, step back, vinyasa. And then we're gonna do the other side. And guys, you can skip that out and just do the knee to nose normal if you want to. So the left leg is gonna float up now when we're ready, bending your right knee. Straighten, 
bend, straighten, keeping that left leg super strong, bend, hop the foot in, look between the thumbs up, it's really important, and those little handstand hops, if it doesn't happen on the first one, doesn't matter, try it again, left foot come down, right foot back, high lunge, hands down, vinyasa, good job, up dog, down your facing dog, three breaths here, breathing in, breathing out, and that's something that you can play with in any class that you feel comfortable, it doesn't have to just be my class, so anytime there's the need to nose transition, you can start adding that in, your practice, so you can start to modify to what suits you, inhale to tiptoes, Exhale, bend the knees, step, float, or fly, feet to hands. Half lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, this time we're gonna stay. Sit the bum back, sit it deep. Roll baby fingers towards one another, ribs in. Now feel. Notice what comes up. Notice how you feel about this posture. Now remind yourself it's temporary and you can stay. We're here for two more. Can you go deeper? And on your inhale, come halfway down, Ardha Utkatasana. So tabletop through the spine, reaching forward with the arms as if you're doing a handstand and recognize that this is a tuck handstand, but with your feet on the floor instead of your hands on the floor. Dina, lift your arms up, babes. So your arms are in line with your head. Yeah, exactly. Really nice shapes, guys. Breathing in, breathing out. You've got it, April. Now inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, hands to the floor. Now let's all come into yogi squat. So heel toe your feet wider, and then bring your bum down. So heels in, toes out, bum down, hands into prayer. Breathing in, breathing out. So use your elbows to send your knees wide, pushing them back, lifting the chest. And on your inhale, send your left hand to the floor outside of the left foot. Exhale, right arm reaches up to the sky. So finding that resistance between left arm and left leg, opening the hip out and opening the chest. Then we come back in through center. Exhale. Inhale, right hand down. Exhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. Again, resistance, right arm into right leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more here. Amazing, guys. Now inhale back to center. Exhale, reach your arms forward, but don't let your knees move. So you don't want them to track forward, using your bum strength to open the hips. We're here for three, two, and on one, bring your bum down to the floor. Lean back, rise up into Navasana. So it can be bent knees, holding behind the knees. It can be straight legs. But if you're going with straight legs, try and have your toes on the same line as your eyes. For 10. Lift the chest, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, Ardha Navasana, lower middle back on the floor, reaching your hands towards your feet, making a dish shape for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, Two, one, now pull your right knee in on the inhale. Exhale, send your right knee long. Left knee in. Exhale, send it long. Imagine you're moving through a resistance, right knee in, like moving through mud. Exhale, left knee in. Good job, guys. Exhale, let's do one more, breathing in. Breathing out. And left leg. Exhale. Now breathe in here together, and exhale, we're gonna lift up into our Navasana. Good job, hold behind your knees, rocking back and forth. Gather some momentum, then come back into your yogi squat. Beautiful, now you can stay here, or bring your hands to the floor, playing with crow pose, resting your knees on your upper arms, leaning into the fingertips, squeezing the heel to bum, and maybe in time, starting to straighten the arms. Taking it into headstand, whatever, you're feeling right now. Good job, guys. Squeeze 
heels to bum, point those toes. Now from here, you've got two options. You can either inhale, step back to plank, or exhale, float back. So either inhale, step back, nice day. Exhale, chaturanga, up dog. Felicity, you need to lean forward just a touch more. Exhale, bend your elbows. Up dog, down, we're facing dog. Now same transition if you want it, you have time. Right leg floats up to the sky, breathe in. Optional knee to nose facing the foot down or hop off the left leg and try the scissor kick. You've got time. Yes, Vesta, good work there, Tiffany, you had it, nailed it. Rising up, breathe in. We're in our high lunge, breathing out. And guys, sometimes it's about giving yourself permission. It doesn't matter if you fall behind just for a moment, you can always catch up. Breathe in here. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale, let's cactus. Open the chest. Sending your hands down. So reach your arms forward, protract. Lift. And exhale, squeeze them together. One more, breathe in. So you're really going the full range in your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open out warrior two. Breathing in here, push your right knee to your right baby toe and roll the right inner thigh to the sky. Two more. Exhale, can you bend a little bit deeper? One more. Inhale, straighten through the right leg. Pull your right hip back, adjust your feet as you need. Right arm reaches forward. Hand inside the shin and reach your left arm overhead. And that's a really nice way of stretching through the left side body. And the spiraling action here, guys, right rib cage rolling up to the sky without letting your ribs flare. So it's a side body stretch. And it's a hamstring stretch in the right leg. One more breath. From here, keep reaching the left arm overhead, bend your right knee, bring right elbow to right thigh or right hand inside the right foot. Rolling baby finger down and keep trying to roll the right rib cage up. And I want you to check in with your right glutes. Have they switched off? Can you try and roll the right sit bone under? And keep pressing right arm into right inner thigh. We're here for one more breath. Amazing guys, now from here, keep the warrior two legs. We rise up on our inhale into a reverse warrior. Exhale, stay here. Left side, or right side body stretch, left hand resting on left leg. Can you bend your right knee just a little bit deeper? Breathing in, breathing out. One more. On your inhale, start to rise up, straighten the right leg, flex the ankle, hands come to prayer. We're gonna skandasana into the left leg. So left heel turns in, left toes turn out. Getting into those hips. It's okay if your hands are on the floor. We come through center and into the right. Maybe hands are in prayer. Inhale to center, exhale left. Good job, back through center and exhale right. Now on your inhale, Pivot around 90 degrees, runner's lunge at the top, exhale, back knee drops. Arms reach up to the sky again, breathe in. Grab hold of the left wrist and exhale, lean to the right. Pushing the left hip bone forward and trying to lift it up towards the left lower ribs. So you're strong in the hip, strong in the pelvis. And finding that left hip flexor and left side body stretch. One more breath. Now on your inhale, releasing the left wrist, hands to prayer, left elbow comes outside of right thigh and gaze goes up to the sky. Option here to pick up your back knee if you want to lean back and trust. Try and have a straight line from elbow to elbow and then use your shoulder, right shoulder to pull back even a little bit more Vesta, pull your right shoulder in towards the spine. Good job. One more breath. Now from here, guys, on your inhale, look down. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Now we're gonna come onto the outer edge of the left foot and pick up your right knee. And a good way of balancing here is trying to push your left big toe down to the floor. Now squeeze your right knee towards your right elbow for five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. Place your right foot to the floor behind you while well thing. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more here. Open the hips out, open the heart. Good job. Now we're all going to come back into our three-legged dog. So on your inhale, bring your right hand down, keep your right leg up, exhale here. And you have an option of staying here with one point of contact off the floor, i.e. the right leg up, or you can bring it down. And all together, inhale, look forward, exhale, elbows down to the ground. It's coming into our dolphin, but slightly different because the right leg is up. You can stay here, just getting used to the shape, maybe hopping the left foot in. We're gonna do our dolphin press ups from here. But again, option to drop the right leg if you want to. So rock forward and back. Nose to thumbs, chest to thigh. Three more, breathing in, lean forward and back. Two more. Last one. Good job, then bring the right leg down. Drop your knees down, come into puppy pose. Hands walk up to the front corners of the mat. Chest and chin down. Breathe. Open the shoulders, open the heart. Now from here, guys, you can stay. If you want to play with Pincha Marasana, forearm stand. Now is your time. So notice if you have a tendency to faff, to kind of look around, to have quite a long journey into the posture. Can you quicken that process and can you do that process with your breath? So elbows down. Yes, Kyla, beautiful. And hopping off the left leg. So April or April's friend, I'm not sure. Straighten your right leg. So that's a really good attempt, but the top leg is kind of flailing around a little bit. And what that is going to do is just create more wobbles. And really good. Let it come over a little bit more. Perfect and squeeze the bottom heel to bum. That's really good, you're so close. Dina, take a breath. And try and lose the back bend, so keep thinking ribs in. There you go, that was it. And when we're ready guys, we're coming into child's pose. James, that's really good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale together, exhale, beautiful guys, inhale, ripple forward into your plank, exhale through your vinyasa, up dog, downward facing dog. Now take a breath. Inhale, left leg floats up to the sky. And it's your choice, so option to bend the right knee, hop, or do the knee to nose. We're all gonna come into our high lunge. When we're ready, we have time. Breathing in, breathing out. Amazing guys, squeeze everything in. Pull that left hip back and try and lift the right hip up. Can you straighten that back leg a little bit more, Vesta? Yeah. Nice. Now inhale here together. Exhale, cactus. Feel your shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades move away and forward on the inhale, up, and then squeezing them together. One more, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Squeeze the glutes. Try and rip your heels apart and roll your left sit bone under. Inhaling, exhaling. Straighten through the left leg, pull the hip back, reach forward with the left arm, bring it down and then right arm reaches overhead. So your arm is maybe even touching the side of the head and the baby finger is trying to roll towards the floor. So your hand is going clockwise. Good job, breathing, spiraling. So Dina, lean back with your head. So there's often a tendency here to crane our neck. I'm really guilty of it. So try and give yourself a double chin. 
From here, inhale, look down, bending your left knee. Hand inside the foot, keep reaching the top arm overhead, extended side angle. Amazing shapes here, guys. And really observe your transitions. Notice what I call the faff. So the faff that happens, the little twitches, the adjustments. And can you make the transition as important as the postures, as smooth? When you're ready, on your next inhale, rising up, keep your warrior two legs. Sweep the left arm back, we're in our reverse warrior, left side body stretch. Not losing the bend, the deep bend in the left knee. Breathing in, breathing out. and then bring your bum down. Tap the right knee to the floor and then lift the right knee back up. Breathing in, exhale, bum up. Good job, back through center and into the left, exhale. Reaching the arms forward, bring the bum down. Inhale, tap the left knee to the floor, keeping the shoulders straight up. Exhale, lift the knee up, breathing in. Bum up, breathe out through center and into the right. Inhale, bum down. Exhale, tap the knee. This time, inhale, send your right knee up, grab hold of right ankle and right arm reaches towards left foot. Side body stretch, breathing in. Keep pushing your right knee out and send your left elbow into your left inner thigh. One more breath. Rising up, breathe in. Bum up, breathe out, through center and into the left. Bum down, tap the knee. Inhale, sole of the foot down, grab hold of the ankle with the right hand. Exhale, left arm reaches to right foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Right elbow to right inner thigh, spiral the chest. One more breath here. Rising up, breathe in. Exhale, bum up. Now inhale, pivot around 90 degrees to the left. We're in our runner's lunge. Exhale, right knee drops. Rising into your anjaniasana, grabbing hold of right wrist, grow tall. Exhale, lean to the left. Breathing in. Breathing out. And try and send your breath into the right rib cage. And see if that helps you go a little bit deeper. Inhale, release the wrist, bring the hands to prayer. We're twisting to the left, right elbow hook. And gaze goes up, option to pick up your right knee. Amazing, guys. It's the same thing here, lean back. And use the strength of your left shoulder the muscles around your shoulder as well as your core to deepen that twist so you're pulling the left shoulder back behind you and one more breath now with control inhale look down exhale right hand down left arm reaches up to the sky easy twist now we're going to come straight into that side plank variation modify as you need so lifting that left knee up to the sky trying to press your right big toe down and then send your left knee towards your left elbow for five, four, three, two, one. Amazing back. Oh yeah, then left foot comes to the floor behind you. Almost forgot our wild thing. Kicking the hips up, opening the chest out. So it's the sole of the right foot to the floor, but it's only the ball of the left foot that's down. And the bum is super strong. And notice what happens when you squeeze behind your left knee. One more breath. Amazing, guys. And back into your three-legged dog. So left hand down, left leg stays up. Look forward and bring your elbows down. So we're going to come into our dolphin push-ups. Hop your right foot in if you did that on your side. Or you can do knees down or both feet down. We rock forward and back. Forward and back. 
forward, try and come to your tiptoes, and back, two more. Last one. And this time you can come into puppy pose or you can take it, take it straight up into your pinch up. Pressing your chest back towards the back of the mat, slowly bringing the legs together maybe, or if you've been split legs, squeeze the glutes and the inner thighs, trying to think of your whole body like a plank. Ribs in and push. Push through elbows, push through hands, push through the whole forearm. Felicity, take a breath, babe. That was good. I want you to push more. Try and push your head away from the floor even more. James, try and straighten the top leg just a tiny bit more. Just be really strong through the glutes. Felicity, that's good. Okay, what's happening? What I want you to think about more is instead of sending the bottom leg kind of out back, Think of squeezing it in. So pulling the bottom knee in towards the tummy. When, you want to, when you're ready guys, and if you want to come to child's pose, you can do that, but you've got a couple more seconds. James, that was good. Keep pushing. <laughs> so knee to chest, Felicity. Yeah, that's good. Now trust the top leg going over a little bit more. Good, that was it, you caught us. Now we're all in our child's pose when we're ready. That was it, babe. Well done. Take your breath in. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale. One more. And then when you're ready, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up top. Downward facing dog. Now we're going to work on the hip height. I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks. Inhale to tiptoes. It's not three legged dog, so flexing your right ankle, trying to hike your right hip up higher than your left hip. You should feel the squeeze through the right hip flexor, so try and internally right, rotate your right thigh a little bit more and then place it down. And that might feel quite intense. You might need to wiggle in between. So then stay on your tiptoes, flex the left ankle, hike the left hip up, try and internally rotate a little bit more and then place the foot down. So you're just moving like two inches or one or two inches forward each time. And it's not about speed, it's about feeling. So I want you to find the hip hike, feel it. And as you come to the top, the hip hike might make your legs feel a little bit more weightless. So you're transferring the weight into the hand. So push the floor away, push the shoulders up to the ears like a handstand. And then bring your feet behind your wrist. Good job. If you find a toe tap on the way, you can take it. Good job. And now grabbing hold of your big toes when you arrive, we're gonna come into Padanga Stasana. So if you're hip distance apart, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Breathing in. Breathing out. Sending your hips high, coming up through the quads. Relaxing the neck and looking between your legs. So Courtney, bend your elbows and really try and pull yourself down. So relax the neck. Yeah, good job. There you go. Now from here, on your inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bring your right hand to waist. Now this is the hip hike. If you have to bend your knees, bend your knees but I want you to transfer the weight into the right leg and hike the left hip up. If you can, keep hold of the big toe. If not, grab your shin with your left hand. Now from here, keeping the hip hike, we're gonna come up into our standing balance. And it can look like this with a straight leg, or you can hold around the left shin with the left hand. Nice guys, breathing in, breathing out. From here, left leg out to the side. Whoops, I'm wobbly today. And exhale, gaze goes to the right. Now the hip hike is kind of still happening, but it feels different obviously because it's a different angle. So it's like you're sucking your thigh into your hip socket. 
And if you were to let go of your left foot, the hip shouldn't move. Now from here, we're gonna inhale, lean forward. And it's okay if you're holding your knee. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, rise up. Good job, one more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rise up. Now this time, inhale, we're gonna lean forward and bring our left foot back down. Good job. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's do one more of those to reset. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Now this time, inhale, lift the toes. Slide the palms of the hands underneath the soles of the feet and fold it down. Padahasasana. Amazing, guys. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more here. Leaning into the toes. Trusting your balance. Now on your inhale, come halfway up. And we're going to bring the, we'll grab hold of the right big toe and bring the left hand to the waist. And it's the hip hike again. So hike the hip up on the right side to transfer the weight into the left leg to find your balance. You can bend the knee and grab hold of the shin, all either. And we're going to rise up. And hopefully the hip hike makes that just a little bit easier, that transition. Nice, guys. Good job. So if you're feeling a bit wobbly today, don't look at anything that moves. So definitely don't look at me, don't look at the screen. Look beyond it. Try and look towards above your big toe. Breathing in, right leg out to the side. Gaze goes to the left. And again, notice the hip hike, notice that suction, that strength. Sending the back of the head back, the shoulders back, ribs in. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, lean forward. Can you go a little bit deeper each time? Bend your left knee if you have to for balance, rise up. And again, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, rise up. Now this time we're gonna lean forward and keep going. So lean forward, bring the torso parallel. And keeping the hip hike, bring the right foot down. Good job, guys. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now on your inhale, grab opposite elbows or reverse prayer behind the back. And exhale, roll up through standing. Stepping the left foot back, back foot at 45 degree angle, open the chest. And exhale, come halfway down, staying here for a second, sticking your bum out, lengthening the lower back, trying to find almost a flat spine, a flat back. Exhale, fold it down. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears, lifting through the quad. We're here for two more breaths. Dina, are you back in, babe? Hopefully you weren't gone for too long. You good? And now from here, inhale, come halfway up. Bring your hands into prayer. Lean forward, bend into your right knee, and come into crouching warrior. So left leg lifts, squeezing the inner thighs, try and find that internal rotation through the left thigh. Breathe in, straighten the right leg, breathe out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Good job. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. I know this one's wobbly. Now, inhale, bend the right knee. Bring your right hand to the floor. Open out into your half moon. So stacking left hip on top of right hip. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Using props as you need to. Nice, Tiffany. Now tune into your left glutes. Can you send the left leg a little bit higher? Point the toes or flex, I don't really mind. One more breath. Breathing in, left hand down. Exhale, standing splits. Option to stay here. 
grabbing the ankle, maybe finding a bind, doing whatever you want to, or taking it into your handstand. And if while we're in a handstand and the standing splits gets too intense, don't come out of it and do nothing. Just come out of it and come into a pyramid pose. So bring the left foot back down. So if you're playing with handstand, hop your right foot back, lean into the fingertips, bounce off the right leg, try and find the L handstand first maybe, point the toes, squeeze the glutes, and trust your fingertips. Gaze is in between the thumbs. Good job. We're back in our standing splits, breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath. On your inhale, halfway up. Exhale, pull your left knee into the chest. Hiking the left hip up, bending your right knee. We're gonna rise up, hands to prayer. So pulling the left knee into the chest, then bending your right knee, left ankle over right thigh, coming into your figure four chair. Breathing in. Maybe you can find that tabletop through the spine, breathe out. And there's a couple of options here. You've got Galabasana, so the hands come down. Left shin rests on both arms like a shelf. Squeeze the right heel to bum. You need to lean forward to start to straighten the right leg. So maybe kick the right leg out in front and have a bit of a play. Or you can stay in the figure four and enjoy that really nice glute stretch. So yeah, bend your right knee down, it's perfect. Good job guys, we're here for one more breath. And when you're ready, we're back in our figure four. Let's rise up, inhale, pull that left knee back into the chest. Exhale, place the left foot down. Arms floating up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it down. Grabbing opposite elbows, reverse prayer behind the back. Rolling up to stand, squeezing the belly in. On the inhale, the right foot steps back, we open the chest. Exhale, come halfway down. Stabilize the hips, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold all the way down. Find that really nice stretch in the left hamstring. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good job. Pull up through the left quad. One more breath. Inhale, halfway up, hands to prayer. Bend into the left knee, lean forward. Exhale, crouching warrior. And there's a tendency here for us to think that we're really low when our shoulders are low. So I want you to bring your shoulders to the same height as the hips. You kind of have to intuitively feel it. Then I want you to trust your leg strength and bend that a little bit more, squeezing everything into the center. So we breathe in, straighten the left leg and everything moves together, leg, hips, chest, bend. And exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Good job. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, re-bend the left knee. Hand comes down. Open up into your half moon. Right leg lifts as high as you can. Open the chest. Open the heart. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good job. Then bring the top arm down. Right leg up, standing splits. If you did handstand, try and stay in your standing splits for a couple of breaths if you did that on the other side. And that's gonna help you. It's gonna open your hamstrings and strengthen that top leg. And the top leg is what guides you into position. So lean, bounce off the left. Find the L shape first, that might help. Come back down in between if you need to. You may be bending that bottom knee and squeezing the heel to bum might help, maybe flexing the ankles. Whatever helps you find more strength through the legs. Good job. And then when you're ready, we're back in our standing spits. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Inhale, come halfway up with the torso. Exhale, pull that right knee into the chest. Finding your balance, start to rise up. Hands to prayer, right knee to chest. And exhale, right ankle over left thigh, sit the bum back. Figure four, it could be nice just to stay here for a little bit. Then come down to tabletop, stay here for a little bit. By spending a little bit of time in these prep poses, it can help us when we try and go into the arm balance. So Tiffany, push your right knee back, babe. Back and down. Yeah, exactly. And that should help you go deeper into that stretch. And then try the arm balance, guys. If you did it on the other side, you want to give it a go again. And hook that right foot around the left arm. So much, yes, April or April's friends. Sorry, I'm not sure who's who. But that's going to, that's what you just did there. It was perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and finding that hooking. Good job. Courtney, that's really good. Try and have that ankle over the thigh rather than your calf muscle over the thigh. So move your right knee exactly over to the right. Amazing, guys. We're here for one more breath. I'm enjoying the wobbles. <laughs> Breathing out. Then inhale, we're going to rise up. Pull our right knee to chest. Exhale, place the right foot down. Arms float up to the sky. Breathing in. Exhale, full breathe out. Inhale, half lift or plant the palms and lean and step or float back, vinyasa. Up dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale to tiptoes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees and try and cross your shins as you bring your knees towards your chest and slide or float your way through into a seated position. Bum comes down. Both legs are straight, feet together. Move your glutes out of the way. Inhale, grab hold of your big toes. Lengthen the lower back. Exhale, fold. Breathing in. Breathing out. Two more. Then slowly rising up. Leaning back. Navasana for five, four, three, two, one. And bring the legs down, straighten the left leg, pull the right heel into the groin. Lean forward, grab hold of the left foot or the left shin, lengthen and fold. Breathing in, breathing out. Two, three. On your inhale, rolling up through the spine, pull that right knee into the chest. Right foot comes outside of left thigh, right hand behind you, left arm reaches up, and let's find a twist. Gaze goes over the right shoulder, flexing that left ankle. One more breath. And from here, inhale, look forward. Exhale, gentle counter twist to the left. Rising up, bend your left knee, keep that right ankle over the left thigh, thread the needle. So right hand comes in between the legs, you can either hold behind the thigh or maybe hold around the shin and try and pull the left foot in. And here, notice the difference if you have a rounded spine versus if you have a straight spine, because if you straighten your spine, you're probably going to feel the stretch a bit more through the right outer hip. Breathing in, breathing out. Two. Three. Now stay here is option one. Option two is maybe trying to find this twist. To do that, send your left foot forward just a bit. Right elbow comes to the sole of the right foot, hands to prayer. Flex that right foot. If you keep your left foot back, it's going to push you back. So do make sure you send your left foot forward. Now there's an option to stay here. If you want to take it one step further, there's an arm balance. You can bring your hands to the ground, keep the contact, right foot, right arm. Press into the left foot to pick up the bum. And then you can lean, maybe start to straighten that left leg, keep it bent, you can choose. Maybe try and bring it between the arms. Good job, guys. One more breath. 
and from here inhale so if you're in the arm balance come back down release let's lean back again and come into our navasana reaching the arms forward and bring our lower and middle back down inhale right knee pulls into the chest exhale send it back inhale left leg in exhale bring it back two more each side inhale exhale are you moving through that thick resistance inhale exhale one more and left side breathing in here we're going to rise into our navasana breathing out awesome cross the shins bring your hands down step or float back vinyasa up dog downward facing dog now left leg up to the sky Play with little handstands hopping off the right leg and just see what happens doesn't matter just give it a go using that hugging the knee into the chest that we were doing on the ground but this time you're on your hands yes felicity let the top leg go over good job guys and when we're done we're just going to come back into our downward dog <laughs> although i like what you're practicing <laughs> Good job, take a deep breath in. Side out. Inhale to tiptoes, look forward. Now same thing, you kind of cross your shins along the way, push the floor away, you kind of hug your knees into your chest and float your legs through. Kyla, try the slide next time, I'll show you, rather than the jump. Now it's the right leg that goes long, left heel to groin, reach forward, grab the foot, breathing in. Exhale, fold over the leg. Breathing in for one. Two. Keep pulling that right hip back. It's almost like the hip hike, but just a different angle. Rising up, breathe in. Pull that left knee into chest, sole of the left foot outside of the right thigh. Left hand behind, right arm reaches up and find the twist. Good job guys, breathing in, breathing out, amazing, one more, on your inhale look forward, exhale, twist, counter twist to the right, then rising back up, bend your right knee, thread the needle, pull that right heel in as much as you can. And the flexing of the left ankle is normally what people forget in this one, but it's really important just for the knee and also just to keep like activation through that left leg. So you're trying to push the left ankle into the right thigh and that's going to help this, will help you feel this a bit more. Breathing in, breathing out, two more. So either staying here or maybe find the twist to send your right foot forward. Left tricep, left foot, hands to prayer. Look over the right shoulder. Good job, guys. If you want to take into the arm balance, hands come down. Press into the hands, press into the right foot to get the bum up. Once the bum is up, you're sending your bum over to the left, almost like a diagonal towards that left arm. And then you can straighten the leg, try and lift the chest. The key is getting that left foot high enough up the arm so it doesn't slip off. Good job. One more breath. So bring your bum back down. And then all together, we're gonna look forward, lean back, come back into our Navasana. Reaching the arms forward and then come down. Now this time, bring your hands to prayer and we're going to do right knee, left elbow. So breathing in, breathing out, send the right leg long. Left knee, right elbow, exhale. Two more each side. Inhale, right knee, left elbow, exhale, back to center. Left knee, right, and bring it back. One more, inhale, exhale. Left knee, right arm, exhale. Now reach your arms overhead for five, four, three, two, 
One, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, rise up, Navasana. Good job, guys. Cross your shins, bring your hands down, step or float through your vinyasa. Good job. Now it's the right leg that floats up to the sky. And again, it's just play time. Take it slow, take it easy. Hands underneath the shoulders, kick the right leg up, point those toes, squeeze the bum and squeeze the inner thighs. So you're trying to keep everything strong and sucking in. Amazing. And then when you're ready and you're done with all of the bouncing, come into your downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Side out. So we're gonna slide our feet forward. Can you guys see me well enough? Okay, so if you wanna see what I mean. So come to tiptoes, bend your knees. It helps if your mat is just a tiny bit slippy. And you try and almost, it's almost a hop, but you're not quite hopping, you're sliding. So you slide your feet in and in. So you come onto the top of the feet, then they need to cross. Push, 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 push. So the knees are squeezing in towards the chest and then you can send them forward. To slide them in. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, keep sliding, keep sliding the toes. It doesn't help if your mat is sticky. Mine's quite slippy at the moment. <laughs> so you need to bend. There you go, kind of well done. So now guys, bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out to the side. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and exhale, lean forward, press elbows into inner thighs. Keep reaching forward to the crown of the head. One more breath. On your inhale, rising up, grab hold of the big toes, lean back, lift up the legs, straighten the legs. Upavishta Konasana B, pulling, the thighs back, lifting the chest up. Two more breaths. Then bring the legs together. Point the toes for three, two, one. Now we're going to let go and our legs aren't going to move. So let's try and do this. If they bend a bit, it's fine. Whatever happens is cool. But try on three two, one, release, reach your arms overhead for three, good job, two, no one even budged, one, inhale, cross the shins, bring your hands down and float back, up dog, downward facing dog, amazing guy, your right leg floats up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, take it into your wild thing, Take it slow so you enjoy the journey, enjoy the stretch. If you want to take it into your full wheel, you can do that. Good job. And then when you're ready, come back into your three-legged dog. And let's come into our pigeon. So bring our right knee towards our right arm, right chin down, sliding the left leg back. Hands go wide, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drag yourself down. Two more, inhale, rising up. Exhale, bring it down. One more. Exhale. Make a pillow for your head with your hands and stay down. If you wanna come up and do any mermaid or any king pigeon or any of those kind of things, of course you can into your practice, but if you just want to take it down and enjoy this hip opener, that's okay too. sleeping. From 
here, rising up. Bring the weight into the right sit bone. Try and pick up the left leg without using your hands. Bring your hands into prayer and pick up that left leg and bring it round. So you're trying to stack your left knee on top of the right. You'll probably need your hands to help you now. You might need to even come forward into all fours to adjust to make sure your sit bones are on the ground, sending your feet forward. Inhale, reach your hands forward. Exhale, bring it down. Gamutasana, making this one stronger by sending your feet further forward if you want to. guys there's two ways out of this one is rising up leaning back coming through your navasana and your vinyasa option two is coming into a tripod headstand so you can bring your head down pick up your knees walk the feet in squeeze heels to bum hike and then float back through your chaturanga up dog downward facing dog James, try and make sure your head comes up before your feet come down. I think that is what's happening, but it's close. So just think head up and then your feet will come down. <laughs> Left leg lifts up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Slowly taking it into your waltzing, enjoying that side body stretch on the way. Beautiful guys. And then taking it into your full wheel if you want to. We haven't done that many back bends today, so maybe not. And then when you're ready, bring it back into your three-legged dog on your inhale. Exhale, left leg, left arm, and then bring the shin down to the floor. Sending your hands wide, sliding your right leg back in space. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. And this time you can stay down, make a pillow, Clear your head with your hands and let your body melt and sink. I'm simply observing this posture and how this posture feels after all of the hip openers that we've been doing all session together. Feeling all the space that you've created. Tiffany, so that's really good next step is trying to rotate your torso forward rather than having an opening does that make sense cool that's really good super strong hamstrings and then maybe taking it down I'm just spending a couple of moments here sleeping slow and if your elbows are propping you up can you let them go wider can you let your shoulders relax a little bit more good adjustment festa breathing in breathing out now rising up again inhale bring the weight into the left sit bone hands come to prayer can you pick up that right leg right knee and bring the right leg out in front, trying to stack right knee on top of left, just as you need to. Bum is down. Hands walk forward, inhale. Exhale, fold it down.
rise in up. And this time we're gonna simply lean back, release the legs, and come to lay down on our back. If there's any final movements that you need, giving yourself a hug, a happy baby, maybe a back bend, maybe a bridge pose, maybe a Supta Baddha Konasana, now is the time. And then taking, your, taking yourself into your Shavasana. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Enjoying that feeling of just simply being alive in this moment. Just feeling any energy and any sensations running through your body. Noticing your sense of touch. Feeling your skin against the mat, against the floor. Letting yourself simply be. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me.